Hello, welcome to Excel Highway. In today's video, I want to share with you a team vacation and availability request I created using Google Sheets and Google Forms. With these two files, you can create a platform where your employees can request time off. And you're going to see it in a very structured and organized way. Sounds interested? Stick around, I'll show you. All right, first off, we have a Google Forms. So you just have to create a simple Google Form. Okay, if you're not familiar with how to do it, just go over here. You got, uh, where is it? Forms. And you create a blank form. And you start adding information. I added the title, I added a small description that they can see. I have a type of request, which is a multiple choice with vacation, yada, yada, and also other that they can fill out. Start date is just a date, end date, date, and remarks. All right, you can see the settings. Um, where is it? You got to collect the emails, All right? And I am also a, I linked it to a Google Sheets, which is really important. You do it at first. And when the form is, is complete, it looks like this. So you have your title with some description. Click on this to record the email. Otherwise, you can't request. You add a vacation, let's say 30 of June to 2nd of, of July and you can also yeah so this is just a preview so that's why you can't really use it but I can just copy the link like so and this would work Let's say two days, my vacation, and now I, can, now I can submit, and my response was recorded. So let's jump into the Google Sheets that link to this. The sheet here is called Form Response, and it creates a table, and you can see that the form that I just created is appearing over here. So on top of the um, columns that are coming from the form itself, I have a few helping columns that I use to capture the name, department, the text to show in the calendar, the days uh, for filtering, which you'll see soon. And you can use the employee database to convert an email to a full name and department, which is what you see over here. So that's just a simple table. Then we have the calendar view where you can filter based on a specific name start date and a department so let's see I just want to show just want to show the IT people vacation so I can see them I can just see the sales people I can delete that and say okay show me this person's uh, time off and you can see wherever there's information it's going to show his name his her name and what type of time off they requested now I can also change the date let's say start of the month and you can see that it will automatically change and match whenever you change the date it's going to auto fit and you see I selected the first day of May which is a Thursday so it starts like this you may want to select um, you know let's say uh, the previous Monday Just have a complete, you know, Monday through Sunday just to start things off, and and May will start over here. So that's being generated automatically, the calendar view. And you also have an employee analysis where you can see, um, again, you can filter, but if you don't filter, it's going to show you everything. So all your employees, how many vacation um, days, work from home, sick leave, personal days, or other. I can filter this, so it's only going to show me me or someone else. I can again filter by department. 
I can also filter by date. So let's say I want to show just starting from June. So it shows me June and I can leave, the, leave this open or I can say just that week and then you can see that it's going to filter the, the results. All right, um, I hope you found this um, content interesting. And if you did, please hit that subscribe and like button. I'll see you next time.